What's up, bros and hoes, whatever floats your go? It's your boy, Relentless, bringing you yet again another Division video. Hope all is having a wonderful start of the week, uh, weekday, or the week. And without further ado, I know y'all are tired of hearing me ramble on about things. Let's get into the build. Just know there are multiple ways of using this build, just like every other build. You can go reckless, you can go vigorous. Heck, if you want to even, you know, go think about side of the box, you can even go rapid to increase those uh, cooldowns on your heals. Or you can go Barrett's. The sky's the limit. You can go Specialized Pack. You can go Tenacious Mass. You can go Savage Gloves. I mean, there's different multiple facets of this build. So this is just a generalization of how I run things or how I'd want things run when I'm PvPing. Not necessarily in the last stand, but actually in the dark zone. Because uh, no offense to no one, and this is no, uh, not you know negative toward anything or anyone, but I feel that you know after you know 10 or 12 matches of the last stand, it's like training wheels for actual real PvP in the DZ. But anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into it. As you can see, it's four-piece Predator. And yes, I am utilizing the Reckless. Um, if I wanted to, I could actually be more tanky uh, and run this. And Savage, I could run Barrett's. I can run Vigorous. You know, the sky's the limit. You know, even if I, I wanted to run Savage, I got plenty of Savage Gloves. You know, if I want to switch to Tenacious or if I want to be... You know, even more DPS side, I can switch to this mask, and as you can see, um, it puts my firearms over 83k, but this sits well with me because it unlocks all the talents on my weapons, and um, I have enough of my health pool to last, and I have sufficient enough uh, skill power to get pretty uh, good heals out of everything. So let's jump right into it without further ado. Reckless with 1266 in firearms. Uh, 1724 in uh, base armor, which is really low for my standards. If you look at my Predator's Bark vest down there at 1902, I got considerably a bigger amount of armor. But now it's come to everything wants to shift to let's throw everything into DPS and let's just, you know, have uh, a battle of who can down the other one the fastest. But you got to utilize your cover. And also, if you're running in a group, also synergize with the other builds that are in your group, especially if you're running with a healer like I do, or if I'm running just in a pair with Reggie Merck or Tim the Toolman or uh, Phoenix Flareon or Eyes 8. You know, anyways, enough name dropping. But you get the point. It all depends on if you're running solo, doubles, or in a full squad of four. So you can have different variations this build based on those things alone. And when you get into this build, like all things, you want to ask yourself, you know, what kind of build you want. I want to overall uh, high damage based uh, with also uh, enough survivability in my toughness to whether I can last more than just, you know, a second or two going against, you know, all high end build or a striker build. Um, and also, when it comes time to heal, I have sufficient enough skill power, and I found that this is overall very nice. As you can see in my major attributes, I got 4% uh, all resistance and a 14 and a half uh, thousand in health, and that is almost equivalent to around a thousand main stat in stamina. Um, and in major attributes, you can have any number of things as far as increased kill XP, or uh, I prefer ammo capacity on both my chest piece and my backpack. But, you know, whatever you prefer, you don't necessarily need them in both, as long as you have it on one. And my mod slots, 261 uh, stamina and 3217 health, and also another 261 and 3217 and the next slot. Moving on to the mask. As you can see, uh, good stamina rolled, 4% crit chance and burn resistance. If you wanted to opt out of the crit chance, it's also you can change out the crit chance for the additional skill power for your heals. And in my mod slot, 261 stamina and another 3217 in health. So just in my mods alone, I'm getting uh, about 15,000 uh, in health, which is equivalent to, like I said, uh, 1,000 in your main stat of stamina. So it works out really nice. Uh, moving on to the knee pads. As you can see in the major attributes, 15,325 is my major attributes. Um... So that way, if I, but if you prefer to go like enemy armor damage or along those lines, then you can also opt in for that. 
and be even more of a glass cannon. But I found that by putting health on this and specking into health and firearms and everything else, after I've got the equivalent enough to unlock the talents, my weapons, and my toughness, it works out uh, fairly well and actually pretty darn good in the DZ on PvP. And so this is how I uh, tend to roll things if I'm more or less the pesky one of the bunch. Not so more or less the glass cannon, but more or less, uh, uh, I guess, in between a DPS and a balanced build. Uh, and my minor attributes, instead of the increased kill XP, I'd rather have shock resistance or even uh, burn resistance in that. But, you know, you got to get what you can take. Uh, and unfortunately, I rolled uh, something else when I'm able to roll that. But if I could, that's what I would change it to because shock turrets are a thing again. Go figure. But anyways, moving on. As you can see, 256 in firearms and first aid self-heal. Backpack, no surprise here. Specialized backpack. Uh, good firearms roll. I wish it was a little bit higher. And then I opted in for the 12,382 in skill power to give my uh, heal a little more bite to it. Um, with it is currently, it gives me about three quarters of my complete health back. Uh, and in my miners, I have 51% ammo capacity. That is a must, at least on one piece. You're either your chest or your backpack. And in my mods, I have 261 stamina and another 3200 in health and another first aid self heal and a first aid self heal. In my gloves, 1250 in firearms, nice base armor roll, and also I got the trifecta on what you want to look for on any pair of gloves, no matter what they are, being if they're Savage, Skull MC gloves, whatever you're running. You want the weapon type that you'll be using. In this case, it's I'll be utilizing the SMG uh, with crit hit chance and crit hit damage. And the holster, uh, decent rolls across the board, 1268, 1250, and 1265, and 6% skill haste. I feel that the 6% skill haste is a little more payoff than just having uh, the 8,000 health, but also health or reload speed is very viable also in this. It also just depends on how you want to run things. Uh, and as you can see, another first aid self heal. Moving on to the weapons. First, it's the MP5 ST, uh, my go-to usually with uh, Vicious, Deadly, and Unforgiving. It's got decent uh, damage and RPM. Uh, as you can see, 20% crit hit chance. I think the highest is around 23, I believe, or 24, but I think it's 23. But if you prefer, like, this AUG down here, um, I have Vicious, Responsive, and Fierce on it if I want to go full crit. Or if converted SMG with Deadly, Vicious, and Fierce for another crit. Um, if I wanted to go shotgun, I'd go shotgun. I just choose not to because uh, I'm looking for a better SASG-12 right now. I'm about to go buy one or if not farm one because uh, I wish I could get that self-preserved off there for responsive. But the sky's the limit on what uh, SMG you'd like to use. But in this case, I'll be running uh, the MP5 ST for the RPM because it's putting more bullets down range and getting that bleed status effect on there. Uh, a lot faster, and it has vicious, deadly, and unforgiving. You can have multiple different things on here. You could have, you know, responsive, deadly, and unforgiving. Um, you can put competent in the third slot. Um, I like deadly because, like I said, this is more of a crit build. Um, around 53% crit hit chance. And if I chose to switch to, uh, say, savage gloves and then put on a different vest and have specialized savage, then I would hit crit cap. For targets that are out of cover so therefore you know no pulse is necessarily needed but 53 percent is good enough and then my secondary i'm utilizing the lboac with vicious unforgiving and destructive um as you can see magazine size create damage create chance the trifecta on an lboac and the rugged mini reflex side crit chance optimal range and headshot damage uh the large muzzle headshot damage create chance reduce threat and in my underbarrel, crit hit damage, stability, and reload speed. So, this is the Predator Mark build. This is just a generalization. Uh, this is just what I found out to be great in the DZ. And as you can see, it puts out quite enough. I mean, look at all those yellows just hitting off repeatedly around 42k. And actually, uh, I'm almost doing more to the body than I am actually the head. My base is only a little over 20. And down here, my base is 21. So non-crits, I'm I'm actually hitting harder in the body than I am the head. But you can also switch it out and 
go for more headshot damage than you would anything else. Now, as you can see, like I said before, 53% crit hit chance, crit hit damage is 95%, headshot damage is at 61%. I got 13% damage to Elite, which also works out really nice in the PvE situations. If you do decide to run like this build in the last stand, that'll help out in both aspects of players and also the NPCs. The 6% skill haze, and my max health pool is 229.9k, so right at 230k, armor met 31.4. Well, that's my build. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I had gameplay with you to actually see me taking on these 3v1s and the DZ with no problem with this build. And then when I went to go upload it and when I was rendering it, um, somehow it said the file was corrupted, so that's why there's no gameplay. So I do apologize for that. But this is the Predator's Mark build, and to compensate for... The lack of gameplay that I was going to add at the end, since one of you uh, commented and said you wanted some gameplay with my build videos, I was going to do it for you. I'll just flex for you instead. Yeah. Stop drooling now. You can go purchase this emote yourself, but I know it's just me, and you like seeing me flex. Yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for all your support. Uh, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, please hit that like and subscribe button as always. And if you want to catch me out on Twitch TV, you can find me at RelentlessXRG slash twitch tv uh come check out the streams uh those will be happening from now on um every other day so uh come check me out tomorrow night you can follow me on twitter and don't forget at a thousand k subs we'll be giving away a console of choice whether it be the ps4 pro or the xbox s so stay tuned for that watch that sub count grow appreciate your support and we'll see you guys fudging later I got broads in Atlanta, Jesus, the lean, the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the family.